Millions of people use Facebook on a daily basis, but big companies often tend to break some rules to gain more money. Back in 2000, young kids under the age of 10 would play outside, playing football, basketball or video games. If they wanted to contact each other, there was MSN Messenger, or they could use a phone to call to ask if they wanted to hang out. Today, over 5 million Facebook users are kids under the age of 10. They can contact their friends, but also be contacted by strangers. Facebook is using their AI to learn to recognize our face. They can use that information to identify us. Their AI can see who you are, with a 98% accuracy. Every time you are tagged in a photo, Facebook can instantly see you based on your face. If they sell this information to companies, think about how easily they can track you down and follow you undetected. If you think, I don't want Facebook to collect my data, I won't make an account on it, I have some bad news for you. Even though you don't have an FB account, they can still track you down what you're looking for on the internet and connect it to you. Just not having an account does not prevent them from knowing you. There's just no escape, I guess. Look, I have 24 tagged friends on Facebook. Even though you don't know all these 24,000 people personally. Studies have shown that people with depression only get more depressed after spending hours on Facebook. Speaking in person has better results than through media. This also counts for other mental issues. One of the reasons why people tend to get more depressed is because of comparison. If depressed people see lots of happy people having fun, going on holiday to wonderful countries, etc., that's only a reminder of what they don't have and what others do. It's better to appreciate what you do have. Yep, Facebook knows quite a lot about you your personal information, your interests, your habits. They will follow your activity for as long as possible. The analysis can even predict what you will do next. They might even know more about your behavior than the people close to you. As you know, Facebook collects as much data about you as possible. The more you use the internet, the more they know. The more data they have, the more they can sell to companies. They usually use them to show ads to match your interests. But if it's your data, about you, shouldn't you be paid for it? Or don't we mind someone else selling information about us? Since you were born, medical staff created a medical file about you describing possible allergies you may have during your lifetime, for example. This information is strictly confidential and can only be seen by you or the medical personnel. But what if Facebook could access it? Facebook tried to obtain that information from hospitals, but decided to put that on hold during the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Facebook knows a whole bunch about us, but what if we could backfire this? What's to know about Mark Zuckerberg? Well, he's very protective about his personal information. He paid 100 million US dollars for a piece of land on Hawaii for his house. To get rid of curious neighbors, he wanted to remove four other houses near his other house, Palo Alto, California. In March 2018, Cambridge Analytica had personal data of 50 million Facebook users, without permission. Mark knew this, but remained silent. 
Facebook failed to protect our personal data, which made many people delete their accounts, crashing share values, etc. However, after the scandal, the Facebook share value rose again, which bears the question, if that didn't affect Facebook that much, what will?